Hey everybody, Hidden Object Guru here with Hot New Game, I Am Weapon Revival. Okay, maybe not that new, it came out in July, but I saw the name of the game, I'm like, please send me a copy, and they were like, yes! So here we are. Uh, it's a game, it's set in a psycho circus. I don't know anything else about it, but I'm excited to find out. And my name, of course, is... Yu Yu. Uh, we're gonna be playing this on Slumber Difficulty, because I don't even know what kind of game it is yet, so... Why make things difficult for ourselves? Uh, come back to me now, so I'm a bounty hunter. It all started a long time ago. I was in a bank with my parents when... Okay. Oh, no, he hates clowns! Wow, that is very jokery. So, we're, we're playing as Batman, is what you're saying. The Joker killed your parents. Wow. It's kind of a stretch. Is this a game just about killing clowns? Is he a bounty hunter that only kills clowns? Alright. These are all good questions. Alright, what are we doing? There's uh, creepy beak-nosed mo nosed monsters. I'm in a red spiral. Alright, walking just fine. Buttons don't do anything yet. Oh, they want me to go this way. Well, I'm happy to do so then. Okay, what's next? Now they're writhing about. Got a real American McGee's Alice vibe going on here, which is fine. Not judging him. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? Am I lying in a pool of blood so surreal like one of my not- Oh, so this is all a dream. I'm pretending like I'm surprised that this is all a dream. This was obviously all a dream. Assault rifle, everybody. Oh no. That was- that was not ideal, like, sound-wise. Because you don't press a button to shoot, you just push in a direction. Which... Uh, kind of hard to aim exactly where I want. What is that 80 nonsense? Oh, am I getting money for killing them? Well, I am a bounty hunter. Only killing some of them. How do I get more ammo? Can I reload? I can. Good. Can I run off the cliff? I can. Bad. Oh, no, they just respawn me and I don't lose any health. But why let me run off the cliff at all, then? Why not just let me run off the cliff in a specific area? Sorry for stepping on you giant eyes. You're a little weird. Alright, Psycho Circus, what else do you have for me? Alright, so I'm getting lots of, uh, well not lots, but a few of those items. The barrel didn't hurt me. Probably would have hurt them. Yeah, this is just not a good machine gun sound, guys. And it's firing, no! Almost preposterously quickly. I don't seem to have the ability to dodge, which is weird. What the hell was that? Oh, it's a save point! Cute! Now I've got a heart. Is that is that healing? Is that a power? You're not explaining yourself. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, click to replenish your heart. Click on to... I had full hit points. But you're teaching me the game, so that's fine. No! Alright. Good, I can get more ammo. It seemed like no one was willing to drop ammo for a really long time there. So that pushed me back, but doesn't hurt me, which is weird. Wait, because I played on casual difficulty, does that mean I don't take damage? No, of course not. Oh, sorry. Uh, so I gotta go flip a switch that makes a uh, thing there, right? I really hoped that would hurt him, but it didn't. Ah, that's full ammo whenever you touch it. That's nice. Okay. Is that the switch? No. This is the switch. There we go. Um, beginning, you won't forget it. Will do. Oh. Okay. I'm too kind to get out of the cage? Do you mean weak? That's true. Oh, thank you. I like that he's so suspicious. 
Okay. Down the rabbit hole. I do mind, but I can't really stop you. What? Seriously, you've been in a cage for X amount of time. You'd think you'd want to spend some time flying rather than just sitting on my shoulder. But again, I'm not in charge of this guy. Oh yeah, so now that I have this guy, it opens. But you know what? I like alien shooter, I like zombie shooter, so I'm willing to give this the benefit of the doubt and see how it goes. Ow! Hey, I finally took damage. Well, visible damage. I'm sure I'd been taking damage. Yeah, always reload when you're done shooting, everybody. It's gonna save you trouble later. Just being a spec you wouldn't drop by, I just wanna say hi. Okay, you're the Grim Reaper, obviously. Oh, I thought you got trapped in the cage with your own curio- you know what? Uh, servant's getting really poor. I'd love to see them get to you. Aww. Wow, that guy's the worst. The master, you say? Ooh. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm working on that. Well, it's a chance to go deeper into this hell dimension that some of us call sleep. All right, many of us call it sleep. Ooh. <laughs> I already have a weapon, though. Alright, so how do I use the sword? Ah! Turn to the cursor when you click the button. So here's the problem. You have to... you can't... it's impossible to aim and swing the... thing. So yeah, a well-designed system would let you push in a direction you want to aim, maybe give you a laser sight, and then have you pull the trigger to shoot in that direction, and uh, what? And then press the right button, or bumper if you will, to swing a sword in that direction. Uh, these guys did not think that through though. Since but revenge kept me going, all I wanted was to put those damn robbers behind bars, collect your evidence, make sure they all paid for it. level one. Joker! I still hope we'll meet someday. Well, I hope, I hope so too. So are you a bounty hunter or a vigilante? I am. <laughs> oh, we're just now getting the title. Okay, cool. He's, uh, because of his nightmares, he's stuck in a clown hell. Or maybe he's dead, and because of his, the things that taunted him in life, the death of his parents at the hands of clowns, that's why he's stuck in a clown hell. Uh, we're not sure we got here, but never mind, at least we've escaped. Barely can catch our breath, right? Okay. What kind of place is that? This. I'm rotating on, doors opening to nothingness. <laughs> Oh, I'm the master here? Wait a minute, saying that the master is my own uh, dark side? Wow. Okay, your spirits of anger and... So yeah, we're all making... You're explicitly saying that we're inside my own head. He was shot in the head, probably. And that would just make sense. Oh. Damn right I'm gonna prepare myself. Okay. I wonder what that red thing I picked up was. Was that more points, or...? Yay! Insta health. Yeah, I think that was. I think it was a lot more points. Oh, you can only have one heart at a time. That sucks. I'm actually running a lot of little low on ammo, guys. I just this second noticed that, that heart is following me around, and that's great. Yeah, they were not kidding when they said this was casual mode. So I'm taking a lot of hits and zero damage. Well, effectively zero damage. Obviously, I am taking damage. Yeah, they should have given me a, an unlimited firing weapon, or at least, you know, made it easier to spot the extra ammo. 
because it's weirdly difficult to find, like, make it glow green or something in the background. Just, just give it a little, well, do what Alien Shooter does and Zombie Shooter does. They put a little glow around the items you can pick up. So they pop in the otherwise uh, bland backgrounds. Weirdly, this is similar in its own way to Zombie Shooter because that game was noticed for an, uh, notable for an interesting visual style where everything was basically in black and white. And then items you could pick up were uh, shiny and in color. Very interesting game that might have been Zombie Shooter 2, I'm thinking of. But the point is, that whole black and white aesthetic was a very interesting look and it was... Uh, what made the game kind of special. No! Guys with bolt launchers! Do I get a different weapon at some point? Because... I don't want to be too critical, but I should, right? Oh no, I just realized, did I... I might have grabbed all of... Oh no, there it is. Wait, wasn't the... Oh, you can grab all the ammo. It's full ammo, but it goes away when you grab it. It's not unlimited... Uh, restoration of your ammo. That's... Less exciting, but okay. Find the memory. I, I'll try. I'm going rock for Well, yeah. Dude, you know about video games, don't you? Made into an item. Oh, nice. That sounds fun. So when are we going to meet the shopkeeper who sells us things? Prototype of an item. Give it to the wanderer to have it made. Okay. You're not going to tell me what the prototype is? Candle? What are the other ones? Freeze. Ooh, I can get spells! That's it? Okay. Oh, look, there he is, the shopkeeper! So a creepy clown, so I have met him, he probably help us. Aww. Oh, he's saying lots of R's because he's a cat. Gotcha. Wow. That are doing it, or who are doing it. Oh, thank you. I would love to find that out. Drops made of the souls of dead enemies? Nice. Oh, that's what the currency is. Cool. Boss. Alright, I'm gonna go get the soul bottles. Yeah. Alright, what are we doing? Bumblebee, the police uses weapon dealing with bankrupt, so it's an MP5. Have fire auto fire can be effective weapon against crowds of enemies, that sounds good. What am I using now? Wait, I only have one? Oh. Flamethrower! Oh, but I need 10,000 souls to unlock it, which I don't have! Oh, I'm close, though. Uh, yes, I would like to unlock this, please. Um, oh, no, wait, this is what I already have. I already have that gun. Alright, what are my other guns? Flamethrower that I can't afford. Rocket launcher that I don't have. A knife. Da da dao. Oh, like it's short Turkish saber. Nice. Uh, body armor. New armor fiend. Okay, cute. You're an art lover who can turn your enemies into living ice sculptures. Huh. Cool. How much does that cost? Two. Well, I have two, so let's buy two. Uh, how do I do it? Upgrade. Oh, I need more potions to upgrade. Uh, okay. I can't wait to find out how to use those. Let's upgrade my submachine gun. Damage per second, 42. Upgrade damage per second, 46.2. Ooh. Yes. Right, now it does 50 damage per sec. Ah, let's do it all the way. I'll find more money. He said, hoping he would find more money. No trophy for fully upgrading a weapon? What kind of game are you? Uh, every time you use to spend adrenaline. Okay. Oh, cool. We're going to adventure through a memory. Nice. Okay. Too bad there's no hub world. Okay. Oh, I can. 
That was weird. Okay. Warm welcome, first memory. And I haven't been there. Yeah, selecting... Going back to a menu to select missions suddenly is a little weird addition to the game. But whatever. At least I can do missions to uh, grind health, right? Okay, I will do that. Oh, really? New characters. Oh, I have a map? Cool, which is me. Thanks, guys. Side quests? Okay, you know what? I'm kind of on board with this. It's weird because I remember um, my b uh, beloved developer... What is that? Cool. Alright, that made me happy. Um, Sigma Team having a game, not not l exactly like this, but I remember uh, seeing they were like releasing a game, it was set maybe not in nightmares, but in a weird fantastic land. And I never actually played that game, and now I kind of regret not playing that game, because I've seen this one, and it's, you know, a cute diversion where dudes explode when shot, and then you can freeze them, and they will explode into giant chunks of metal. Sorry, metal, ice. That was embarrassing. So how do I open these chests to get more treasure? You cannot. Okay, well, you know, good note there. Let's look at the map again. Wait, where's the map? Oh, there's no one button for the map? You actually have to go in every time? That... Come on, guys. That's not how you design a game. And I should know. I'm a person who plays games. Yes! Hello, secret passageway that isn't on the map, which... Instantly teaches me that the map is not useful, so thanks for that. Yeah, I like... We gave you a map, but uh, no, there's lots of secret places that aren't on the map, and you just have to walk everywhere. Oh, okay. Thanks. Kind of makes me wonder why you gave me the map at all. So this is representing the bar and the decrepit alley outside the bar. And, oh god, that that's a hand with an eyeball and an eyeball tree. And we're honestly just doing weird uh, Twin Peaks style stuff now. Which I'm in favor of, don't get me wrong. Twin Peaks is great. But I don't know if that's where I would uh, default go with my... Video. Oh, that's what the green is. It's dude spitting acid. Hey, how do I get more? Uh, this is something the game hasn't really covered yet. How do I get more adrenaline? Oh, hey, there's the uh, clown with sledgehammer. He's the game's mascot. Not entirely sure why. Adrenaline replenishes the adrenaline bar. Thanks. I feel like I could have figured that one out on my own. Yeah, the explosion just doesn't hurt you at all. Oh, wow, they really do explode. Those are severed heads. And so 6,400 quickly goes to 10,000. Wow. It is worth getting those bundles of nonsense. I got Needle, which is a crossbow. Ooh. How do I switch weapons? Can you switch weapons? Oh, we'll find out together. All right, can I walk over here? Yep. It is a pretty banging tune. I'm not... Two, 12 elixirs on this level. Oh my god. So you basically just have to walk everywhere all the time. Which, as I said, I was already planning to do, but... it's There's almost an excessive amount of secrets in this level. I just am mildly annoyed that they don't add the uh, secret areas to the map when you found them. Hey, let's find out what a side quest is in a game like this. Uh, go find me a key card, he'll say. By the way, I guarantee one of the side quests is go find the key card. That's just... That has to be, right? For just everyone who's played a video game. So every room just has a secret exit. It sounds like I'm complaining, but I'm really not. I'm so excited to get this flamethrower, guys. Just give me the flamethrower and I'll be on my way. Well, I mean, not on my way. I'm going to use it to kill you, but, you know. Not in a judgmental way. Alright, uh, this is the way to go. You might be saying, should you really be having to check your uh, map that much? And I would say, uh, 
I don't have a good sense of direction in hell. Okay, so no secrets here. Please die. Oh, I love you, low threat twin stick shooters. I just like twin stick shooters in general. It's always a genre that has appealed to me. Ever since my days of playing Robotron in the arcade. That's right, Robotron. Oh hey, he's got a health bar! Nice! I was just lamenting the lack of enemy health bars in another game. These guys are all too weak to have one, but uh, Mascot Sledgehammer Zombie Clown does have one, which is nice. Let's go find that side quest. I'm gonna use... see? I mean, he still dies easily enough, and I have massively increased uh, my firepower. Here's something I object to, and I mean, it's not a big objection, but it is something I mildly object to. Uh, the game telling me damage per second. I feel like damage per second is something that I should have to calculate. And just tell me how much damage it does with each bullet, and I will recognize that I'm firing 18 bullets a second, and I can do the math myself. Like, telling me the game, the weapon's effectiveness in damage per second seems like you're literally, I mean, and you literally are removing all of the mystery from the game. You're not saying, this is a gun that hurts people. You're saying, here is the system by which I calculate the virtual damage doing to virtual, being done to virtual foes on a per second rather than per bullet basis, because that's the only thing relevant to number crunching. Okay. It's kind of Zoltar, but it's also kind of a lumberjack. Alright, let's see what it has to say. Okay, where do I get a silver coin? Oh, I see. Find the right coin. Do you want to put that on the map? Maybe that's what one of those green trying green diamonds is, but maybe not. It's hard to tell. Uh, I appreciate the game's map. I appreciate the game, game's map seems to be uh, telling me places to go and things to do, but it's not that helpful. Also, I would have liked if I could have bought a bigger clip for this gun. That would have been helpful. I keep, gotta keep remembering to freeze dudes. What was the point of getting this freeze power if I don't use it on people? Oh, wow. It uh, Now the uh, giant boss zombie dies immediately. Yay, full uh, ammo. Let's burn out the rest of my ammo and then uh, go get that. Shall we? Oh, and I just want to say, dear... Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm there. Okay. What's happening? That was embarrassing. Dear Secret Passageways, thank you for being passageways. Thank you for being so comparatively visible. Really appreciate that. I gotta say, the creepy clown imagery isn't bad. Like it's it's pretty solid creepy clown imagery. Take that, you jerks. Yeah, I'm totally gonna go to Sigma Team's website and find out what that game they were making. Like, and, and seriously, this is long enough ago that their website was like had a black background and just a bunch of uh, really simple images, and it's like, click here to find out about our games. Click here to go to our e-store. You know? Like, really simple stuff. I remember once, uh, this is how long ago this was, I asked them to send me a, uh, a review copy of one of their awesome Sigma Team games. Uh, I believe it was Alien Shooter 2. And I actually got, like, I assumed... You know, review code, something like that. Well, not code, because back then you actually had to go to an FTP site to, uh... Uh... There we go. Ow. There we go. Um, and download a game. Right, there was no there was no Steam yet. Or if there was, it wasn't widespread. You, the only widespread way of disseminating game codes to reviewers. And so I was expecting either, you know, FTP link to download the game code, with, uh, you know, a key up uh, key that was just good for me to unlock it in the game, as most games were. Or I was expecting, uh, the alternative, which was for them to, like, just send me an envelope with some discs in it, which ha used to happen a lot, too. 
Instead, I got sent a package from them with a boxed copy of the game. So I had like a boxed version of Alien Shooter 2. All right, let's talk to this guy. Uh, sure, yeah. Oh no, how can we help it? I'm just focusing on the work. Okay. Jesus. It's almost like you're some sort of a uh, giving tree. Okay. All right. Kill three lumberjacks. Which ones are the lumberjacks? I'm excited to find out. Anyway, so uh, one of my favorite um, uh, TV shows had an incisive parody of the giving tree. And that incisive parody of the giving tree, oh, there he is, was called uh, The House for Nobody. And my question to you is, uh, what, what TV show had that incisive parody of the giving tree called The House for Nobody? And what episode was it in? If you're the first commenter uh, below the video to put those two informations into a comment, you will win a prize. So I encourage you to do so. Uh, mostly because I want to encourage, you know, get make sure people watch that show. I'm a big fan of that show. That show that I'm still not going to mention because I want to give people a chance to find it. The House for Nobody. Oh, The Giving Tree. That's one of those things that I only found out about as an adult. Like, for whatever reason, it was not a, a perennial kids book where I grew up. I keep walking over the buzzsaws because, I'll say this, the buzzsaws are not visible. Like, at all. Wow, a really long trip back to the uh, giving tree here. Okay. Have you? Are you going to attack me with them? No. No. All right. All right, so here's the pipe. So we're supposed to follow the pipe back to the valve. And I assume, right? Can I walk along the pipe? That is a negatory on that one. I could, but probably not for long. Whoops, sorry. Let me just try one more time. I feel like I don't have the fine motor control necessary to get along that pipe. Oh, I'm going to have to use health soon. I'm actually getting beat up quite a bit. Because I keep trying to find stuff with swords and save conserve ammo, which is both necessary and not a lot of fun. So used to having to, like, having dive roll escape buttons in these kind of uh, top-down shooters, that it's honestly weird to not have one in the game. Oh, I forgot what new thing I unlocked. Loving the frequent save points, too. Lots of splodo things. Yeah, that's fun. I stand by that. 31,000? No! Sledgehammer dude can knock you over, which shouldn't be a huge surprise. He has a sledgehammer. Yet I was still a little surprised by it. I am now getting reckless with ammo because I found a new ammo cache. That's right, I pronounce it cache. Uh, people were giving me uh, guff for pronouncing that word cache rather than cash. I'm like, it's a French word. I'm allowed to pronounce it the French way. So shush, cache. Although that does confuse it with a uh, cache, as in a. Uh, there we go. A certain cachet when someone has a a definite appeal. All right, I found another secret area, but I'm, I haven't gotten a potion in an awful long time. Let's run back and talk to the tree. Decide to use my health finally. Oh, hey, do you think one of the upgrades I can do is to be able to cure, keep more uh, health items? Probably, right? Hey guys. Any of you have a coin? Oh, there's another heart. Nice. 
Come on, Vile. Oh, good. Still nine more to pick up if I want to upgrade, but yeah, we're on our way. What did that do? I, I have no idea what that lever did. Is there a door that I might have opened? Well, whatever. I still found that coin, which is upsetting. Maybe I buy it from the vendor? I mean, we're going by him anyway. There's no reason not to check. Oh, buzz saws. You're usually not an issue. Alright, so I've got... Oh, crossbow is what I unlocked. Yeah. Well, I can have both of them now, so I would like a uh, candle. Wow. Yeah. Yes, I would like to upgrade it. Wow, upgrades are not expensive compared to how expensive the things are. Uh, rapid fire crossbow, shooting galleries, other fun fair attractions. Crossbow is much more powerful. Sure. See, it's not because we're only dealing with damage per second, it's not clear that it's much more powerful than anything. Because it's less powerful than my gun, but I assume it shoots slower so the individual bolts do more damage. See what I'm saying? Alright. How do I switch from weapon to weapon? Ah, there we go. Let's try out a flamethrower. It has zero range. It literally has zero range. <laughs> My god. Why do they do that with flamethrowers in video games? There we go. How many does it... Three, wow. Yeah, you should have done trigger-based shooting, guys. Uh, no. I cannot see the I can see new vines. I can't see flowers. Handy. Right, we'll see you around. Got to go now. Aww. What a cool dude. Hey, I'm up to 5 of 12 elixirs, so, you know, things are going great. Alright, so I'll reload. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I was just thinking about the preponderance of unbelievably weak flamethrowers in video games. Where it's like, yeah, no, it's just uh, an incredibly short stream of fire. Like, to the point where you're essentially holding an ineffective lit, uh, welding torch. Whereas a real-life flame flamethrower is uh, monstrously powerful? Like, 50-foot streams of jets of fire being shot out to immolate everything in front of them and in some cases cover them with uh, flammable gel so you know the fire it guarantees they catch on fire you know, that kind of stuff that's what real life flamethrowers are video game flamethrowers tend to be you know like literally you have to touch the flamethrower to their body worst flamethrower in a game probably I mean this is obviously a judgment call but I think the worst flamethrower in a game is most likely the thing the game. I don't know if you played that. I don't know many people who played that, but uh, it's just a real disaster of a game. How much damage did they take while they're uh, on fire? I think he burned to death. And wow, that uh, that um, crossbow does do decent damage. If I said anything crappy about it, I apologize. Gotcha. Boom, yeah, so worst in a game, almost certainly that uh, The Thing game, where the whole main weapon you have to use against The Thing is a flamethrower, because what is an assault rifle going to do against The Thing? Surprisingly, uh, surprisingly a lot, because it's a bad game. What the? Oh, that's flamethrower ammo, right, of course. But, uh, your main effective weapon is obviously a flamethrower, except the flamethrower shoots a jet of flame that is roughly two inches long, so it's utterly useless in almost every situation. Conversely, uh, the best flamethrower I've ever seen in a video game is probably Wolfenstein. Not uh, New Order. There was not a flamethrower in New Order that I recall. I remember lasers, I remember many assault rifles and auto shotguns, but I'm pretty sure there was not a flamethrower in that game. 
because the point I'm making is the thing that was uh, the best flamethrower in games was Wolfenstein, the previous one for the Xbox 360, which is just an amazing flamethrower. Like it, again, it's like a 30-foot wall of flame that you put up, and it just immolates everything in its path. It's fantastic. You know, the first flamethrower in ages to feel like a flamethrower. Ugh, can't get enough of that game. Seriously, Wolfenstein for the Xbox 360. Uh, it's it's no the New Order. New Order's amazing. New Order is in many ways, like, the best classically designed corridor shooter ever. That's how good the New Order is. Old Blood's fine, but you know, it's just an expansion pack for, pack for uh, the New Order. You know, like little flashbacks, you, uh, you, you escape from a castle, you fight a troll. It's fine, but it's nothing special. It's a lot of dudes. Is there a dude spawner I gotta blow up, or am I good? Yeah, there, haven't, there hasn't been a dude spawner yet in the game, has there? Hmm. Still trying to puzzle out how this game works. Well, not puzzle, it's not that kind of game. Uh, just, you know, I am mildly confused by a few elements, though. Am I, how am I doing? Doing fine. Yeah, this is going pretty well. And what else is down here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. No, still nothing. Alright, let's get the new side quest. Mr. Skellington? Okay, fun for 100 miles, carry in some. Sure. What? 200 drops, and I'll let you have some fun. The rules are quite simple. When you come up to the wall, you'll see clowns floating up and down. If you hit 20, I'll give you three times the drops. Oh! Yeah, sure. Okay. Gotcha. This is cute. No! Yeah, you gotta time those reloads, everybody. It's just like the shooting gallery in Resident Evil 4. Kind of annoying me that you're not keeping track on screen of how many I've shot. I feel like my missing one there is going to screw me over. Is that it? Hey, I did it! A uh, thousand drops, you get three thousand. Okay. Black cards floating among the clowns, each trade cost you point three arts you lost. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do it. Alright, I'm just going to grab some ammo. Let's do this. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I thought it was supposed to be black hearts. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No! Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, thank heavens. There, you could only miss one clown that time. That sucks. Okay, what is it? If five times more if you win this one, and I'll add something. Oh, yes. Okay, don't shoot kittens. Don't hit the kittens or the hearts. Sorry, am I supposed to be shooting the heart? No. Oh, damn it. One, two, three, four. No! Well, I screwed that up. <laughs> yeah, I deserve that criticism. Let me just grab some more ammo, please. So you can shoot three hearts, but only one kitten. Good to know. One. Two. No! Oh, reflexes. You see something that's not a heart and you want to shoot. Three, four, five, six. That's right. Whenever I see a cat, I reload. Seven. Eight. Nine. We got this. Ooh, yeah, Ten. 
Oh, it's not timed. It just goes until I hit that many. Okay. 12. 13. They're not great at keeping this uh, music consistent with what I'm doing in the game. Like, there should be, like, a calliope, you know, carnival music happening now. Or at least the punk rock version thereof. Is that it? Okay, that's not cool. He's obviously a, a shyster. It's fine. Oh, okay. Thank you. Damage increase from melee weapons. That's not something I want, but I'm glad I can get it. Wow, there's five prototypes in this level. This place is packed. And it makes me wonder how long the game is, because I think there's, what, five categories of items and five things per, so that's only 25 possible prototypes, right? I'm a little annoyed that I never found the coin. I'm also very annoyed that they're not removing the, um, the side quests from the map when I finish, when I completely finish the side cat quest. Oh, cool. There's a bestiary. Do I go from enemies to characters? Ah, there we go. Oh, that's cute. I'll read more about them later. For right now, I want to focus on, you know, finishing the level and then being annoyed that I never found that coin for the uh, Zoltar machine. Oh, wait, what's down here? Uh, wait, we already did that. Yes. I fully searched this area. I should have that on map. Uh, looking for bonuses, and I found a bunch of them. I was going to ask, do I have a heart backing me up? And I totes do. It'd be nice if they told me how many uh, monsters there were on each level as well. It would just be a, a good touch. Alright. I remember as close as I can feel we have to go through this prison. Oh, that's what the lever was about. So I would have gotten a little story segment telling me to go find a lever had I gone forward earlier. Damn right we'll get through. All those ground eyes freak me out. What? The guards are more generic clowns? Who could have guessed that? Why do I feel the need to be a jerk? Okay, that, that is a big scary clown, I'm not gonna lie. And he can't be transformed into a... Uh... Wow, where are these backup clowns coming from? Ow! Yeah, their ability to knock you down is very frustrating. Okay, this is an overwhelming amount of enemies, and I enjoy that. Finally, I used a barrel on somebody. So how many people do you think I have to kill before they give me one of those you killed X amount of people trophy? A thousand? Ten thousand? Fifty thousand? It's fifty thousand, isn't it? Delicious cash. Thank you kindly. Oh, I thought I killed everybody. I was wrong, though. Uh, is that the coin? Was that the coin? Or was that the memory? It was the coin. I have to go discover my de uh, destiny. I was confused, because the coin is clearly a uh, copper or um, boo-boo. Uh, grenade launcher. Now that's my speed. Who's this guy? I need such walls. Hard chickens or something. A trank easily crush into these walls. Oh, so he's just crazy. Oh. So he's an insane part of me. Oh. You're crazy. Find softer walls for the madman. Will that happen in this level, or do I have to go elsewhere to find the softer walls from the Mad Bang? Because I'm fine finding that guy rubber walls. He is crazy, after all. I like the, uh, I really do like the camera that takes a picture as you run past it every time, and that's how they handle uh, saving. Alright, let's go find my destiny. 
kind of annoyed that I can't choose which uh, continue point I want to, uh, sorry, continue point, side quest I want to follow at a given time, and they just, you know, tell you the last one. It's not really annoying, it's mildly annoying, though. Alright, let's go see what Zoltar has to say. My destiny, please, kind sir. Yeah. Coin for you, tell us our future is promised. You'll find a key to this hellish... See you at the old tree, you bring the key here and open the box, such as your destiny. Oh, so I have to go to the tree. That's true. Alright, I will just, uh... Added out the backtracking. Well, if there's one thing that's true about this game, if you can't say that there aren't a lot of scenes of you having to backtrack with no enemies around. Any keys among the stuff lumberjacks left by any chance? Ew. Okay, let's go find a uh, camp with a thief in it. Uh, will the map tell me where? No, it will not. I assume it's this thing right here. This looks like a thief camp, right? Or not. I really thought that was going to be the thief camp. I guess it might be the area where the wanderer is? Although that doesn't sound like a thief camp. Uh, I would like a grenade launcher, please. Oh, you can't go left. That's what my problem was. Uh, drum fe... Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there's 45 blueprints to get, so that is a lot. Okay, I would love that. Then I would love to upgrade it a bunch. So I assume you can only equip one... Oh, excuse me. Of each type, right? Uh, so that's one melee... One bullet, flamethrower, rocket, crossbow, and... Oh, thrown weapon? Thrown, uh... I think, yeah, that's probably thrown hand weapon. Alright, so, did you see a... I was gonna ask the, uh, Wanderer if he saw where a camp might be. Probably shouldn't have used that health. If there's one thing I'd say that this game, I'm not going to say it needs, because I don't want to uh, overstate a game's successes or failures, especially since I've only been playing for like an hour. But what it could use is one of those pointers who tells you where the next quest point is. Uh, a little game called uh, LX. Those look creepy. I mean, they're not monsters right now. Why won't you tell me where this guy is? Alright, let's go ahead and see if he's at the end of the level, because you're like, he's not far from here. Yeah, but what does that mean, Mr. Tree? Because I went not har far from here. It's not like you said, oh, he's at the gypsy camp with all of the... Um... Uh... What do you call those rolling caravans? The caravan wagons, whatever they call them. If you'd said that, that would be one thing, but you didn't say that. You just said he's there. So is this one of the situations where you can open it and then wait for it to uh, open so you can leave early? You know me, just hitting switches and not having any idea what they do. Just kind of hoping the... Uh, the buzzsaw would kill some of them, but that does not seem to be the case. Alright, grenade launcher it is. Oh, I like that. Apparently, I got a trophy called Mr. Fix-It. I don't know why. Interested to find out, though. Alright, anything over here? No, no. Zero bonus or secret areas, and no black sooted thief. Hey guys! I have a flamethrower, is the thing. Like, I know you're scary, but I have a flamethrower, so. 
What are the odds that you're scarier than me? I mean, normally, sure, you're evil clowns. Who would debate that point? Uh, I have a flamethrower, though, so... I think I might have one up on you. Just this, just for today, though. What the hell? A shimmying tree? It's messed up, people. Oh, it's on the map. Alright, secret area. This is where a thief would be. Except it is definitely not where a thief is. But I stand by my statement that it is where he would be. If this game had any reason, logic, or human decency. I'm kidding. Come on, I just, I like to know that there's a, oh, that's another dream. Okay. Oh, that's nice to say. You guys are such good pals. Yeah, no, I've got to go find that thing. So I'm just going to go find the thief and uh, I'll be back when I do. So I clearly cleared this area here to the left out. And now I'm just being swamped by enemies. So it's possible that that green spot on the map was new and I just didn't notice earlier. And that is the thief. I think that's increasingly likely. So I take back everything I said about the game. Uh, if that does prove to be the thief, I take back everything about the I said about the game not giving you enough information. Oh, no, it's not. It's just the shooting guy. All right, I, I reinstate everything I said. I forgot about the shooting guy. Well, then why did they spawn new enemies here in this corner of the map? All right, so um, given my abject failure at finding this key, which is annoying... Do you want me to go back to the start of the game? Because I've searched everywhere but the start of the game. I'm going to go to the tree one more time and see if he gives me, if he gives me a clue about where he is. And then we'll just uh, wrap this up, whether we find it or not. That can't mean he was on, like, a secret island, right? One of the secret islands that's not on the... No, of course not. That would be crazy. Although, one good thing about this game is it really you really get the sense that I'm going to be able to come back and reselect this mission and try again with more powerful weapons and blah 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 blah, that kind of nonsense. So I'm, uh, I'm fine with that. So let's go talk to the tree. Okay, all you have to do is go back down here. Uh, after you talk to the... So you go and talk to Zoltar, he says go talk to the tree. You talk to the tree, if you go back to Zoltar, there'll be a new guy on the way to Zoltar and he has the key. There's no way to know that and they don't put it on the map. So yeah, the game, dear game, your, uh, the quest system is a little on the broken side. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. He can actually leave. Nice. Oh. I got most of the stuff this level. I think that went pretty well. Four out of five prototypes. I, mean, I don't know where the, the last secrets are, but this went pretty well. You got a last favor you need done? No. Because I can't want anything more from him. I assume the tree won't talk to me anymore, although I could go and check again if someone's curious. But no one's that curious. So let's just uh, go and exit the level and uh, call it. Oh, the flashlight is my fairy buddy. I didn't get that. I guess I should have noticed when there wasn't a flashlight for the first part of the game. Anyway, so yeah, what is this? Uh, you know, it's a psychedelic, weird, dream logic twin-stick shooter. And by that I mean it is a completely traditional twin-stick shooter where hordes of enemies charge you simultaneously and you backpedal and aim your assault rifle at them. That's just what twin-stick shooters are and have always been. Uh, this one has tried to put a twist on it with disturbing visuals and it's been successful more than not like I'm not upset by it but it is an interesting world I'm shooting monsters in that's full of evil clowns checkerboard floors bizarre wolf statues like it's uh, an interesting world that is a tree that's doing a little dance for us weird all right let's get the memory and be out of here Wrong turn in the dark, or is roaming dimly in the streets so notice an outline ahead? Oh. Well, that's not good. Bugs, you say? Huh. That was abrupt. 
All right, so yeah, see, as you can see, I missed one error and one elixir, but here, five and five. All right, so it's just going to give you instructions for everyone. All right, so I think that's the perfect place to call it. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming along on this journey with me. If you had a good time, please like and subscribe. I will see you back here for more sampling of new-ish games that people are nice enough to send me. Um, I got to say, this one is definitely, I didn't check the price, but if you told me this was, you know, six, seven dollars, I'd be down for that. I like twin stick shooters. Uh, the controls are a little floaty, and as you can see, uh, sound effects aren't impressive. It's a nice setting, and it's decent gameplay. And there seems to be like a, an epic amount of stuff to unlock, so I'm interested to see more of the game as I go. I will be playing more of it, but uh, for right now, I think that is that. So uh, I will see you back here for more, but until then, au revoir.